In Photoshop, you can change the color of a custom shape via the, obviously the toolbox, and also via swatches. But I'm quickly going to show you the various steps for the shape layer as well as the fill pixels. Now this is Photoshop CS5, CS4, PC or Mac. Now I'm just going to quickly go to the custom shape tool, select that, select a custom shape, select that one. This is a graphicextras.com optical illusion design. And I'm just going to draw it with the fill pixels first. And we'll take the current color set here in the toolbox. Just draw that, see that. Now can change it there. I'm just going to quickly go to another color. Blue, apply it there, see it changes. Quick way of doing it also is via the swatches palette. If you haven't got the swatches palette, it's window swatches. Just change it, click green, changes there. Very simple, very easy. Of course, you can, at that point, it's actually just flattened. So you can actually go to the image adjustment, hue, saturation, change the color of the design very quickly that way as well. Now, if you're going to do it with the shape layer, select the shape layer and apply the same custom shape. Current takes the current color, that's green there. Now if there was a style set, that would be different, but it actually takes the current green there. So I'm just going to quickly change the color to show you that. Now once you've drawn the design, I'm just going to go for a blue. If you want to change the color, if you go to this one, just click on that, say so make it black, doesn't change. To change it, you need to go over here, change it on this this point. So I'm just going to go to that one, go to green, click OK. Another way of changing it is via the layer, layer style, color overlay. And I'm just going to go select red there, just changes it there just by changing the color overlay. Of course, you could add a gradient as well. Get rid of the color overlay, see the gradient there. Click cancel that point. Another way of changing it would be via the adjustment layers. And I'm just going to quickly go to hue and saturation and just change the color. So you can still keep the custom shape as a layer. So you don't have to change it. It's very useful with the adjustments layers.